So I showed this to you earlier. I went ahead and reactivated it with an iron and, and now it's bonded back to the uh, cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and use this even though it has paints that I didn't uh, or was not able to use when I use the new paints and put it on it for some reason it works it doesn't seem to affect the uh, oxides or the stains that I'm going to put on over it so I want to do that I want to do this for you and see what happens it should work but that's part of crafting is experimenting sometimes it's a success and sometimes it's a fail but it's always a happy ending because you got to craft so this is the cardstock that had the alcohol ink swab on it and this is the one I showed you how to color with the dioxide spray residue I'm gonna go ahead and heat activate that onto the cardstock and also uh, work with that uh, to make that bloom technique. So we'll let that cool and we'll work with that as well. So let's go ahead and reveal this and see what it looks like underneath. Once I peel back this craft bond, you'll have a you'll be left with a rough texture because you're pulling up the adhesive and uh, that residue will be left behind in the form of a rough texture. These little white spots is the bleach and these little rings that's the distress stain and then the dioxide is all of the other background. So I'd like to use this masking. So I'm going to take that off first. Now it's time to see if we have some bloom. I'm just going to tear back this adhesive craft back. And it looks like we do. Wow. Oh wow, it's really came out nice. I like it. So let's show you how to make it. Let me go ahead and get everything ready for us. Be right back. So I've gone ahead and messed around the uh, craft bond. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these distress pigment ink and I'm going to start to color the surface of all three of these uh, sections. So let me get that done and I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm adding this layer of peeled paint and I'm really putting it in there like this when I add it. I'm really rubbing it in. And now I'm going to choose another color put that in and I guess I'll go ahead and give this one a shot and we'll see what that one looks like so I have those two colors down the peeled paint and the pistachio and now we're going to just we want to do a light misting of water so that we can activate that And now what we're going to do, activate this with heat. So let's get that set up.
Let's go ahead and press it down. Let it clear a little bit. Yes, we'll let it cool a little. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. So now we're going to use one more color. Um, we're going to use the uh, Broken China. We'll go ahead and put this one on. Okay, so we're done with the Distress Oxide pigment inks, and now we're going to start to play with these little uh, Distress Stain dabbers. And uh, I have lots of colors to choose from, so let me get some colors selected for each patch, and uh, we'll move on to this next step. So this next two steps are going to be fun. I've selected the colors and I'll tell you what they are as I put them on. And the next step, we'll add the bleach and we'll heat, set it, let it cool and see what's underneath the adhesive. And then see what's underneath the craft bond when we peel it back. So let's go ahead and add some color to this. Some abandoned coral. Let's try some salty ocean. Crack pistachio in the stain form. Right for servants. Shaded lilac. Fire brick. Chip Sapphire. Hmm, this is strong. Mermaid Lagoon.
carved pumpkin. So there's the colors, and now what we're going to do is we're going to add the bleach. So I have my little cotton ball on a stick, and then I have a little round stick. And I have a little bit of bleach in here. I'll just go ahead and dab some of this bleach onto this cotton swab. And we'll start just putting it here and there. And all over. And I'll use this wooden stick on this last one so you can see a difference from the stick and the cotton ball. I have the window open so I have ventilation. I think that would be a good idea because the bleach is strong. As much as uh, you want until it you don't want anymore. So I have that down. Now we're going to go ahead and heat activate it one last time. Let it cool and then check out our masterpiece. You can, you don't have to, but you can give it a spritz of water as well. So I went ahead and did it in this case. The iron's ready. Green lights on, so let's go ahead and press it down. Now what we need to do is let it cool and then we'll see what it looks like in a, in a little bit. So it's cool to the touch and now it's ready to reveal itself. So let's go ahead and start by removing this mask, all this tape here and then we'll go ahead and peel back the craft on on each one and see how it turns out. Okay, I have one more here and one more here. So let me get those out. Okay, ready for the big reveal? So I'll go ahead and start peeling them all back and then that'll make it easy for me and make it easier. All right, here we go. Looks pretty nice. Let's try this one. Isn't that beautiful? There you go. Here's the third one. Mm. 
use the third one. Well, I hope you liked this video and you might try this technique. And if for some reason somebody is out there making it and following the same steps as I have to accomplish this creative art, then I would love to know. Well, I have a few more videos I want to share with you. So I do hope you come back. And I also have uh, some ATC sh some, um, cards I want to show and talk about. So, until then, stay crafty, be creative. So does Creative Corridor saying bye for now. And thank you for watching. See you on the next one.